seconds. When it shows about 20 seconds to 15 seconds, you can whack the mic off. You're going keep, first. Keep quiet after that as well. You're going first. Yeah. Welcome to Fix Radio. This is the painting and decorating show. I'm Ryan. I'm Trevor. And we are a father son decorating team. Um, we've been asked to come here after the chippies and the sparkies have been in here. Yeah, last again. I'm trying to make the whole thing look good. Yeah, no budget left, but we've got to come in and make we everything. Were, we were going to use Tom's studio, but as you can imagine, there's crap everywhere. We were going to go and do Joe's. And they, go, they put us in Joe's studio, but he's got plywood bent around everything. We can't even get in there. They put us in this studio, could do a coat of paint, so uh, yeah, we're here to sort this out. Yeah, so um, tonight we've got a few good things coming up, mostly just talking about us and introducing ourselves as presenters and hosts, um, maybe a few of the old jobs that we've got into and a few fun stories, so don't forget to text into the studio at 81400 or tweet at Fix Radio UK. This is the Painting and Decorating Show at Fix Radio. Wrong way around. Yeah? yeah. Great. You happy with that? Yeah. Oh, you, what's all that? Where did all those numbers come from? Where'd you get that from? Like that, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't even get my bit in the bell. Yeah, when when you do the away. number, make sure it's 81400. Alright. Start your message with. Oh, well, that yeah. was great. That was Enjoy brilliant. it. Yeah. 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 That was a great start. You knocked the other presenter right. straight away. Get stuck <laughs> in there. Started that rivalry. <laughs> Don't fuck with us. <laughs> this is only our first time on and we'll go, we're already. We're four weeks behind as yeah. well. We've got to catch yeah. up. Yeah. So, Interestingly, that song was made about me. This is the painting and decorating show with Osmo. Good for word. We're going to talk to you now about a little bit uh, about us, what we do, how we work together. Um, and Dad's the boss man. He's the business manager. Ooh. So, uh, well, you know, Dad, what do we do? Well, we're father and son. So uh, you'd think working together would be quite easy. But believe me, it's stressful at times. It's, uh, yeah, not the easiest thing in the world. Trying to get your son out of bed in the morning to come to work. I don't yeah. know if, I just struggle getting out of bed for the type of work that trouble is I'm a morning person and Ryan is Ryan wakes up about four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, about the time when we go home is yeah, when I start yeah, chirping up. Generally. But uh yeah, but he's had a good year this year. I, I think he's only been sacked once. Last yeah. year was not a particularly we're good on year a, for him. We're on a record this year. I've been yeah, I'm I'm in the single figures for getting sacked. I feel quite proud of that. He's on for employee of the year this year, so if he keeps it up he could be getting a little surprise. I wouldn't ever beat you for employee of the year. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it is hard. But yeah, we do. We yeah, we sort of tend to work. Uh, um, do go a lot along of domestics. Right. Yeah, we get along all right. We do a lot of domestics. We do a little bit of commercial here and there. Um, customers, customers love Ryan. When I turn up and Ryan's up with me, oh, you haven't got Ryan today. No, unfortunately, you've got to be stuck with me. I don't know what it is about him, but he seems they customers seem to love him for some reason. When Dad says I don't show up, it's normally that I'm still in bed asleep. I think they like me because I give away extras. It's not my money when I'm like, oh yeah, we'll do this bit for free for you. Oh, we'll tack on that bit for you. That could be the It's answer. not my money. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So I mean, we've got stories like this to uh, to sort of entertain you with over the coming weeks. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll see if this is a success or a complete and a failure. But hopefully, either way, it will be a good listen. So keep it in with Fix Radio. Great. That's ah. great. Perfect. Shaking, it's you right. Yeah, I'm right. Some water. A little bit of nerves, aren't you? Mate, you sounded you both sounded sound great. Nerves. You were like lovely. You kept each other going. They were like no dead silences. It was great. The only thing that I might say, just a little bit, just to like improve, uh, like help kind of keep. What, up, you mean make it even better? Make it even better. If you just like, I know there's this yeah, kind of thing of blowing. Yeah. So you should always be really bouncing between four and oh, six. I didn't know that was there. Yeah, yeah, no, no, like, like, yeah. Well, I didn't want to, like, no, no, that's I, fine. we don't want to overload, but yeah. yeah, if you just want to bounce between that, that just gives and where you was I then? Right over. There's a little less in your face, then. Yeah, yeah. Like you, that's better. Not, I've like actually, that. So, yeah. This is the best we've worked together. Perhaps we should do this a bit more often. <laughs> oh, fuck, <that's> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ten uh-huh. seconds, guys. Look. This is Fix Radio, the painting and decorating show with Osmo. Everything you need for your home and garden. Have you ever done a favour for a friend 
and it ended up sort of changing your life. Well, this happened to me. When I the f- way I got into decorating was uh, I was fitting sunroofs for a living. I was back in the uh, 87, 88, and my mate was working for a company in uh, East Horsley, and he needed a hand with a job that he'd got for his boss to uh, refurb the new McCarthy and Stone site uh, uh, headquarters in West Byfleet. And so, we all love new bit work. Yeah, um, so yeah, I uh, I went along with him, and for a couple of weeks, so I took a couple of weeks holiday to go and give him a hand, and uh, that was really it. I got on the site, loved the work, loved the banter, loved the way everybody worked together, and yeah, never went back. And that's basically how I got into decorating. I think a lot of people end up taking that route, you know, just helping people out and. I mean, fitting sunroofs is probably a job that you want to try and keep hold of. That's quite prestigious, isn't it? Well, yeah. yeah. It was at the time. We're going yeah. back a little bit now. Yeah, so yeah. At any time, talk about your childhood is going back quite a bit. Right. Um, I, I think you're right, though, because it, it does feel that a lot of decorators, we all end up just falling into it. I'm not sure how many decorators I've met that have come out of school wanting to be painters. They don't do that. I don't, no. No know. one wants to do this job. We will end up just happening to do it. Well, no, but it's it's a good it is a good career. Yeah, you know what I mean, if you if you can get into it and you do a good, all you got to do is turn up on time, do a good job, and you should never be out of work. Really, just don't try and cut corners. Be good at what you do. Be a bit personable, friendly. You might struggle with it, and um, yeah, you should be okay. Now, well, I ended up getting into it because I had a I had a job in London that was four hours worth of commuting each day and a ten hour shift, and I no, got I a bit felt sorry for. Me. I got a bit fed up with that, and Dad was on his hands and knees begging me at the time that he needed some help. So I thought, yeah, I'll go with Dad for a couple of weeks and give him a hand, and I've still not left yet, yeah. unfortunately. Oi, you um, love it. So, yeah, this is the Painting and Decorating Show on Fixed Radio. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. That's great. what we're doing. No, really well up there. It was great, but I was, yeah, yeah, you've got to know where you're going to get yeah, out. They yeah, they didn't feel like an ending. You're listening to the Paint and Decorating Show with Trevor and Ryan, and also brought to you with Osma, Osmo, rather, sorry, which is good for wood. Yeah, Os- Osmo happens to be a drainage company. Yeah, yeah no, we're not, not there, we're, not, we're not doing groundwork, sorry. Yeah. Don't, don't use Osmo, it's not good. Use Osmo, that's better. Yeah. Anyway, talking about... We're talking budget, budget and budget, budget or not, budget or not. That's it. it. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad I got Ryan. You see, I think he's better than this. He's a decorator, to be honest. Ryan's got a little story to help us get started with this budget or not. Yeah. So, like I say, it's just like a, a thing of where you've just pushed the limit of, you know, you do a nice job, the customer's happy, but you know, you could have gone a little bit further. So we went to do this living room for a customer that. The bathroom upstairs that the builder had just put in started leaking, so there's water stains all along the ceiling, and she had had a bit of a time with it. One of the builder's labourers slashed his leg open and was bleeding out in her bathroom yeah. at the time. That um, didn't go down well. Yeah, no, she wasn't best pleased. So we went in there with all the plastic and made a big show of covering everything up because we were just doing the ceiling. And as we were looking in there, Dad turns to me and says, well, there's no water stains on the coving, so just don't paint the coving because we're not doing the walls and you'll end up getting white all over the walls and you can't cut to that bottom edge of the coving. So, you know, I reckon we could get away with not doing it because other than the water stains and a few pop, um, plasterboard screws, everything was fine. So I charged in there, cut in, rolled the ceiling two times after I stain blocked all of the holes. And there was one little bit on the coving that we didn't spot initially, but as I was leaving the room, I noticed it. So I stain blocked it and emulsioned it, but just that bit and feathered it out either side just so it blended in a bit, and she came in going, oh, I forgot to tell you about one water stain. Turns around and goes, oh, no, you've got it already, I see that. So, you know, we got away with not being able to, not having to do the coven and being there for another, you know, 45 minutes, hour, fiddling around, trying to wipe it off of the wall from marking it. Just by putting on a bit of a show and making her happy, and she was happy enough, she didn't know any better. We got away with not doing too much work there. Um, and So, uh, yeah, do you think that's bodgy or not? Well, and if it's uh, it wasn't you, Mrs. Jones, so don't worry, your lounge was safe. Yeah, this this is a, a theoretical painter that doesn't work as professionally as me and exactly. Dad work. Um, so with stories like that, if you could tweet into Appfix Radio UK for next Tuesday, um, and we'll put you on the other show. This is Trevor and Ryan on the Painting and Decorating Show. Well, I think we finally managed to do our hour. It's uh, flown. 
We managed yeah. to get to the end without making too many big mistakes. Bad news is we've got to do this again next Tuesday. Yeah, this isn't just a one-off, is it? We've got to well, come back. I don't and, know. Ask Louie, it might well be. He might not want us back. But <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us. All of you that have taken the time and trouble to join us on our first show. It's, you know, like they say, you never forget your first time. And hopefully you remember this for all the right reasons and uh, not the wrong ones. And I think for once, Dad's forgotten to shout out his YouTube channel and Instagram page on YouTube. Oh, it's... yeah. We've got to beat Thomas, the electrician, because apparently they can count how many looks and likes and scrubs. Subscri- yeah. We haven't been drinking. Subscribers you get. So please go to the YouTube channel, TJ Painting and Decorating, subscribe, and then we can actually beat that electrician. Let's try beat the electricians on something. Thank you for joining us on Fix Radio. Oh, that's beautiful, Roy. Yeah? Really? I love that. That's beautiful. Yeah. You did that really well. Well, this is appropriate. Nice. Don't should stop do, me now. I'm having such a good time. Should we do another hour? Yeah, we should. Yeah. Should we do another hour? Be good, wouldn't it? That was really Guys, good. Guys, that was great. You happy? Yeah. Congratulations. I don't want to do That's that. I'm well done. That's all right. Thank you. Yeah. Well done. It's a quick hour, isn't it? No, but <laughs> no. I was, I was just getting into. I think we do. I think we should start at oh, five, and then by the time we get to six, we'll be in the swimming pool. Well, yeah, yeah. Great work, guys. Enjoy. That's perfect timing. Plus 37. And what it'll do.